Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick little try on with a bunch of beautiful dresses. These are all pretty formal evening wear. I have a charity gala function to go to this weekend and everyone gets pretty dolled up. So I figured I would show you guys a few options in case you have any similar kind of functions coming up this holiday season. These are all gorgeous. I do kind of have a favorite of the bunch, but I would love to hear which one is your guys' favorite or which one do you think I should should wear this weekend so we have I think six options here so I'm just gonna get to trying them on for you guys really casual low-key in the mirror and show you guys what's up also really quickly before I get to trying on I wanted to share with you guys two things that I love to use before I have an event First are these Crest One Hour Express White Strips. I have been using these for years and years and years. They're my favorite. I like them the best. You leave them on for one hour. It says you can do it like every day or something like that, but I feel like I use one of these like every few months and then I'm good to go. So I like to do it right before an event. And then my favorite self tanner of the moment is this Bondi Sands Arrow. It's just one of the best formulas that I've ever tried. I love the color. It has more of like an olive base, dries quickly, doesn't go patchy, um, and you leave it on for like six hours minimum. But I really, really love these two before I have an event. I make sure to always use these. So now that that's out of the way, we're going to get into the dresses. So here is dress number one. It's a little bit big, but I could probably have it taken in really quickly in the waist just so it's a little bit more form fitting. But I love the silhouette, the color, the sparkles, the sequins of this. It also has this kind of like fishtail bottom, which is so cute, kind of a little mermaidy. It is a little bit scratchy on the undersides, which is to be expected when something is full sequins. The neckline is kind of like this cowl neck neckline and the straps are adjustable. And then the back just looks like this. So very sexual back. And uh, I really like this. I just wish it fit a little bit better so I won't have to get it altered, but this would be so good for any like black tie holiday function that you have. Then we have another full sequin option. This one has these longer kind of blue song, blue song. I don't know what that word is. Blousen, some kind of word like that. But <laughs> this is what it looks like. I loved that the sleeves are a little bit poofier. And then it has this tie belt detail at the waist. So I do like this one, but I feel like I wish the V-neck was less of a soft V. Like it's almost like a U-shape. I wish it was more of like a solid hard V I guess but it is really really pretty and I love like this little belt detail and then the slit so this is what it looks like very pretty love the gold this is the petite size so I got the petite but I feel like with heels it's gonna be too short so that is the struggle with being petite but having long ass legs daddy long legs but you know I'll take it. Next up is this black velvet dress. I feel like you can't do holiday season without doing a little bit of velvet. So this has a sweetheart neckline strapless and then these little off the shoulder sleeves which are a little bit of that balloon shape and I thought this was really cute. It's very soft, comfortable. There's no zipper on this so you just pull it right on so it's very comfortable. I thought it was a really pretty silhouette. This one has a pretty high thigh slit but I feel like since it has sleeves it kind of makes up for the leg being exposed so I really liked this one. And I'm sorry I'm not trying shoes on but I really have to buy black sandals and nude sandals because Dave pretty much ruined all of my shoes because he has access to these shelves. He's tall. He's a tall little boy and if he's in here, he grabs them because he's a little... What is the right word? Cute little pain in my ass, which is like every other boy on this earth. 
Okay, so this next dress is totally out. It doesn't fit me properly. It's too revealing, but maybe some of you would like it, enjoy it. So I wanted to show it anyway. I love the concept of it. It's kind of like this slip dress. It has this black lacy little piece, but it doesn't fit me right. It's not flattering in the stomach area. I don't have my sphinx on, by the way. It has a nice thigh slit. The back is pretty low, but the main downfall for me is the side boob. Like that is not appropriate for the children's cancer benefit gala that I'm going to. That is not it. So I think it's really pretty and it's the most expensive of the bunch, but just not going to be it for me. It just doesn't fit me right, but it is really pretty. Like maybe for like a red carpet, if you're a supermodel, this will look good, but for me, it is not, it is not it for me. This next one is probably the, one of the more simple ones. So again, all black. I love this detailing. I hope the camera like picks it up, but it has like this fun kind of like tulle or like organza fabric that has this like fun little shape. It goes down one side. I feel like I need to steam it so it lays properly but I really like just like the simplicity of this one, especially with like a simple updo, just like how I just twisted my hair up into this clip. Obviously I would not wear this clip to the function, but I really liked how this one looks. So very simple, understated. I feel like sometimes simple is better though, and you can't go wrong with black. So this is probably one of my favorites. The back is nothing fancy. I couldn't zip it up all the way because I need help, but yeah, the bottom has a little bit of a fishtail detailing. It's a little bit long for me also, but I mean, I feel like I can make it work with a good pair of heels. All right, and then we have the last and final option. This is definitely the most me of the bunch. Also the most colorful, also one of my favorites, obviously, because it's just right up my alley. So I love the burgundy wine color. If I spill wine on this, you probably would never notice. Uh, I love the boning, like the kind of like corset vibe up here with the little swoop, the little off the shoulder sleeves, the ruching and the swoop. I feel like that's just really flattering on most people that don't have like abs. I don't have abs. I don't have like a perfectly flat stomach, but I really, really love this one. I feel like it's so pretty. So I don't know. This is definitely my favorite. I feel like it looks the best on me, but do you guys think I should step outside my comfort zone or go with the one that I physically feel the most comfortable with? I don't know. This one, I just feel like it looks the best. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but I will of course link all of the dresses in the description box. Vote in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any ideas for hair. For this one, I probably would keep it pretty simple as well, just so the main focus would be the dress. But I'm open to any suggestions that you guys have. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a really quick video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you some alpha ideas, like if you have any formal events coming up this holiday season. I feel like all of these would be so pretty. Vote in the comments which one's your favorite. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.